Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in my previous video, I have discussed how to create a serverless pipeline to upload images or binary file to S3 data lake using API Gateway and AWS Lambda, right? And that particular HTTP API you can call from your web app or mobile application, whatever. Okay. And today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss reverse process. That is, suppose one user enter the bucket name and the object name, that image file name, whatever he or she want to get from S3 data lake and then make a request via our API, then he or she should be getting the image or the binary file as response. Okay. That is, earlier I discussed file uploader in S3, now kind of downloader technique I am going to discuss using API Gateway and AWS Lambda. How to download an image file from S3 using this HTTP API. Okay. Right. So in my earlier video, I used this particular Lambda S3 upload from API demo. And here, this is the code which I used basically. Okay. And now let's try to create the reverse pipeline. Okay. So here, I'll be going to Lambda functions in a new tab. And then here I'll be creating the function is three downloader yt demo API. This is the name I am giving for the runtime environment. I am choosing Python 3.9 and execution role. I'll be choosing existing role, which I created in my earlier discussion. That is this particular one. Okay. Uh, same uploader functionality. I am only we are using that is API invoke full access is there. Is three full access is there. CloudWatch log access is there. Okay. Right. And then here we are creating the function, right? We'll be writing the code from scratch. No need to worry about a single line of code. Now we'll be creating one API integration. Okay. So for that, we'll be quickly going to API gateway. Okay. And here I'll be going to API. Maybe I'll be deleting this particular API. And I'll be create a new API. Okay. Add integration. So I want to integrate with Lambda. What is my Lambda function? Lambda function name is S3 downloader. Right. Just know what we created. See this particular one, right? Okay. API name demo downloader yt testing via api something name i am giving i'm going to next this is the resource path i'll be copying this particular resource path and the request should be post request kind of thing let us consider because we are basically going to send the query parameter where basically we'll be mentioning the bucket name and the object or the image file name whatever we want to extract right so some amount of information we are sending while making the request so it is better to use post Okay, and then here we'll be keeping the resource path in a notepad file, and then we'll be going to next auto deploy. Okay, fine, and then here we will create this. Okay, as soon as we create this, if we go to this page, currently no trigger is there. Just refresh this particular page once, you'll be seeing API gateway trigger is added. See, API gateway trigger is added. Perfect, and this is the API gateway invoke URL. We'll be copying this particular one. And we'll be keeping this before the resource path. So this is this becomes our complete URL to call that lambda. Okay, right. Now let's test it out. And before that, what I will do, I'll be going to AWS Management Console and I'll be creating S3 buckets. Okay. So here create bucket. Bucket one download demo. Okay, like this kind of name I am giving. It is created. I will create another bucket. Bucket to download the Okay. So here my two buckets are created. Let us upload some image first. We will click on upload. We will add files. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll be going to AWS Lambda and here in images I am having some images so here let us upload these two first okay upload okay. 
right it is uploaded in the bucket one now i will be going to bucket two so i am just creating two buckets to show you that uh, whatever bucket name will be passing based on that the data will be extracted okay nothing else six and five or maybe seven six and seven right So here in the current scenario, we are having two S3 buckets where in each bucket two two images are uploaded. Okay, maybe you can consider earlier in earlier demo whatever uh, pipeline we created using that uh, client or customer has uploaded the images in these buckets. Okay, cool. Now we will see how we can extract those. So first I will print the event because I told you right that whenever doing a development then try to use print statement as much as possible okay it will help you to understand the flow so now let's call this api i'll be copying this particular one i'll be going to postman and here i'll be pasting that so my request was post request right so here i'll be passing the query parameter okay so query parameter first will be bucket name equal to so maybe bucket name i want to pass this particular bucket name first bucket name okay this is the one and okay maybe object or image let me give second key is image equal to let us take one image which is present in bucket one one dot png okay just for demo purpose i am using this and let us make a send request okay hello from lambda it is calling so what is happening in the back end here this particular thing is called so if i go to monitor section and if i click on view logs in cloud watch we should see one log okay so here see just now the log is created now if i click on that here if i expand this particular event okay whatever we printed here you will see one particular key is there which will be having the query parameters okay see here query string parameters this is the one okay here if you see bucket name bucket one download demo and image is one dot png that is whatever we passed here those are captured in this particular key query string parameter so we'll be using this particular one okay in our code so we'll be going back to code and then here bucket name equal to event of query string parameter and what is the key inside that let us check bucket name okay bucket name contains the actual bucket from where we want to download okay cool and then here image file name equal to same thing query string parameter only only additional part will be this image okay image is another key. cool so here we will be putting image okay right maybe if we want you can print this print bucket name comma bucket name and print it's getting bit bigger for you image file name comma image file name okay so just printing and let's deploy this again okay it is deployed now let us send another time hello from lambda is called if i go to cloudwatch if i go here you'll be seeing two logs so this is the latest logs so if i expand see bucket name bucket one download demo image file name one dot png perfectly extracted now once that is done what is the next step the next step will be we have to read the object from s3 bucket okay and for that obviously we'll be using photo 3 so import photo 3 and we'll be creating the client also photo 3 dot client for s3 is created now here if you want to know how to read the data from s3 you can go to the documentation so we want to get the data right so get object kind of thing we have to search right 
So here this is the get object. If I go there, see retrieve object from S3. We use get. You must have read access. Yeah, we have given read access no issue. So we can use this particular code, right? So if you go below, you will be seeing some codes will be there for your reference. So this is the code. I will be copying this particular one and paste that here. Okay. I will be making a tab here and client dot get object. So client already we created bucket name. So bucket name is stored in this variable and key name is stored here okay all right now let's print the response okay response from is three end of that i can write and let's reply this we'll see how we are getting the response okay so here let us make another send request okay Internal server error we got that means some code issue is there. Let us see what is that. We'll be going to CloudWatch and here we are getting the issue. Let's see. Error user code syntax. Okay, so here I think I forgot to give comma, but I have given comma here. I think it is not deployed or what? Okay, let me deploy that again. That is updated. Hello from Lambda is called. Okay, perfect. Now if I go to CloudWatch logs, so just you have to make print statement and go to logs, understand it like that way only you have to go. Okay, so this is the response from S3. If you see this particular dictionary, then you will see here in the body part, it is containing this kind of object, which is a streaming object. Okay, streaming body. So this is where our image is stored actually. So this one we have to read. Okay. So I'll be copying this key and I'll be going back to my Lambda code. And here I will give image file to be downloaded equal to response of body. Okay. So this is how we are reading that streaming object. But that is kind of streaming body, right? So we have to use read in this way. We have to read that uh, particular streaming body in this way. Okay, just some, this is kind of Python object class concept. You can remember this that read is the uh, method to call or read the data from that body part. Okay, and then we can return this particular image to API response. Okay, that is in this return statement. Okay, then how to return this? How to know that? So for that also you no need to think much. Earlier itself we created a code for uploader, right? So if I go to monitor section, let's see how when we try to upload something, how that body was coming. Like the same way we'll be sending here. Okay. So if I go to earlier pipelines logs, if I go here, see here response metadata and this is the event how it was coming so body okay in body the image was coming as base 64 encoded okay and if i go below of this particular image in our earlier discussion whatever i have shown you there we use this particular is base 64 encoded true that means whatever we are sending via network that is base 64 encoded to indicate that we are using this extra parameter so we'll be using this one as well as we'll be using the body to send our data we'll be pasting that here and in body currently we are sending hello from lambda instead of that we'll be sending this particular one okay but just now i told you right that whenever you are sending the data from via network you know always it is better that you convert to base 64 encode okay b64 encode okay right okay cool i think it will work let's see let's deploy this and we'll test it out now let's make a send request internal server error what is that let us check so cloudwatch logs is to download a demo this is the one so this is the latest logs error base 64 is not defined okay i think i forgot to import yes so import base 64 right let us deploy this again and fingers crossed 
Just make a send request. Yep, see here we got some data. Okay, but this data, if you try to observe, see how the data is, it is completely encoded data, base 64 encoded data, right? So, to read the actual content, you have to save the response, save to a file just to okay. Now, here response folder, I already created an empty directory in desktop and then AWS Lambda under that. So, maybe response one dot. So I, I I am basically calling what thing I am basically calling this one dot png okay so this will be png format data so don't do mistake in giving this kind of extension and save this okay now if I go to that particular response holder see here response one is two okay so this is our basically one dot png image what was uploaded in S three and what we downloaded using our pipeline. Let us cross verify. So if I go to my source, see one image is that particular one only. Now let's check from another bucket. Okay. So currently what we did, we already have one image in this bucket one download demo. There one dot png is there. We called, we gave the bucket name, we gave the image which we want to extract and it is downloading perfectly. Okay. Now let's see whether in bucket two it is working the same way or not. Okay. Just to show you that dynamically this code is working, bucket 2 I'll be choosing and then 6.png. Okay, I'll be closing this particular image and 6.png. Suppose I want to download, okay, the uh, client want to download or customer want to download. Okay, so what is my 6 image? 6 image it is the image of this card. Okay, so let us make a call. So here I will make a send request. Okay. So here we got the response, save response, save to a file, and here response to dot png. I'll be storing. Okay. If I go to this particular one, so we should get this particular image. Okay. Let's see. If I go to response holder, see response to that same image is coming. So this code is now a dynamic code which you can use to download any image stored in S3 bucket. Okay. And just all you need to do make a request, okay. And in the query parameter, you need to pass the bucket name and the image file which you want to download. Okay, this is how you can write a simple code in Python. Now, what improvement you can do? You can add try catch block wherever required try except block, or if you want, you can add in this return statement header. You can add okay. Whenever we add header, what is the significance? Mostly it contains certain information. That what kind of response we are expecting currently here we are seeing that okay this is encoded data and this kind of thing but you can explicitly specify in that header parameter also okay then those kind of improvements always you can do so i hope this particular code will help you in your pocs in some other way just with little modification if required and if you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.